Hi everybody, welcome to our Cabana, the WAG's World Center of the Americas. Grab your passport and let's get ready to go from Chicago all the way down to Mexico City. My name is Jody Lynn and I'm a volunteer with Girl Scouts of Greater Chicago in Northwest Indiana. I'm from Service Unit 730 and I would love to talk to you about this great destination. Some of you may be wondering, how are we gonna to get to Mexico? Well, once you board your airplane at Chicago O'Hare International Airport, it's going to take you around four hours and 30 minutes to fly directly there. Ironically, there's no time difference between Chicago and Mexico City, so you won't have to worry about jet lag. Arriving at Cab Arriving in Mexico City, we travel to our cabana, which is located in Cuernavaca, Mexico. This is a quick one hour and 20 minute bus ride. Cuernavaca is the city of eternal springs, and it is known as this because of its beautiful weather. Our cabana is a WAG center that officially opened in 1957 and hosts numerous opportunities for you to attend. These iconic blue doors were donated by Lady Baden Power herself and greets every guest and girl guide and Girl Scout who enters our cabana. Our cabana is the only world center in the Western Hemisphere and can hold up to 108 scouts, making it the largest center out of the five. Just like any other camp you visit, it has numerous buildings. Here you see the programming room, dining room, in the craft hall. And just like camp, when you go to our cabana, you also have a capers chart. Our first night of programming, you will learn all about the cabana symbol, the tree. The cabana adopted the tree as its symbol, and the tree represents the Girl Scout movement worldwide. Its roots are friendship, the trunk is strength and continued growth, and the branches represent each part of the promise. Also, if you notice, there's a drop of water that represents the Aztec symbol of life. On the five acres of land with seven beautiful gardens representing the rich floral of, floral of Mexico City, our cabana will also find, as I said, that dining hall where you can taste international food, that large meeting room for seminars, conferences, and evening activities, as well as parties, can be held here and in the craft house. I had tons of time exploring the craft house and expressing my creativity through Mexican crafting. I loved making papel picado, painting cavaleras, and papel amante, which is painting on paper bark. Our cabana can accommodate over 100 guests in its eight dormitory rooms, as well as four double bedrooms. Here you can enjoy the city of Eternal Springs where there are 365 days of glorious sunshine a year, all of from the comfort of the beautiful recreation areas, which it also include a swimming pool, volleyball and tennis courts, campfire circle, and so much more. Our cabana also strives to meet the needs of all of its valued guests and is fitting with access for wheelchairs as well. You can also earn a, ba a special badge while you're there in the store. One of the best things about our cabana is doing a service project. Each girl's, each session gets to work with community members. Here we had worked with a local orphanage. Each girl would bring materials and help put on crafting projects for over a hundred children. It was a day filled with lots of love and laughter, dancing and singing, but most of all memories that we will all carry within our hearts. One exciting thing about our cabana is the programming. The session that I had attended had waterfall jumping, and if you could believe it, it was amazing. However, when you go down there, you could learn about Los Dias de Muertos, the Day of the Dead, the monarch butterfly migration, or turtle conservation. The opportunities there are endless. In addition to these programming notes, you will also go on numerous day trips while you are there. One day we learned about the Aztec culture, and that's a picture of Ari on the left, a girl guia that we met in Mexico. She showed us traditional dancing, 
but we just found out she's also working at the PAX Center, the PAX Lodge in England, so you might meet her there too. We also visited numerous churches and beautiful monument, monuments in Cuernavaca and walked to the archaeological site of Xochimilco to learn about the Mexican culture. One thing you will do is make tons of memories while you are there. As I said, we are able to go shopping, but we are also able to take part in the Free to Be Me program. This global programming gives girls all over the world an opportunity to take a stance on what beauty means to, me, means to them and spread their message across the globe. Towards the end of our stay, everyone participated in an international night where we get, got to showcase our country. We exchanged swaps, Girl Scout cookies and candies, and just got to learn more about each other. I've built friendships at the Cabana, learned about other cultures, and have grown as a human. One special memory that I have while we were there is the Cabana turned 60, and we were able to participate at the fiesta and celebrate the sisterhood that has been going on there for years. You might have a few questions about the Cabana and Girl Scout travel. I would like to ask you to contact Ashley Christensen at our council and she can connect you to different ways that you can travel. You can participate with your troop, as an individual, with your service unit, or on various council trips or national trips, which are called destination. Our council website also has access for you to find out how to fund your trip. Remember, when you travel to any of the five world centers, you could go to our Cabana in Mexico, our chalet in Switzerland, Tax Lodge in England, Sangam in India, or Kusaferi, the World Center in Africa. But travel just, is, just isn't for girls, it's also for adults. So once again, reach out to Ashley, and I hope that I can see your passport filled with stamps.